Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. Yes, that's Derek at ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. Uh, your website where you can go get all the airsoft supplies you need. Go ahead and look at that and check out our website. Also, um, if you've been watching any of my videos and keeping track of my channel, you know that I've done a lot of upgrades to my JG M4. Okay, I've modified all kinds of things on this thing. Now, my latest modification was the... Um, let me tell you what I put in this just recently. I put in the M130 spring. Uh, it was a matrix spring. I also put in a uh, cylinder head. I put one of those in. And I also put in a um, air nozzle. I changed the air nozzle out. Um, and I changed the hop-up bucking to a hard bucking. So I have a hard bucking on my barrel. I have um, a air nozzle, aluminum air nozzle, aluminum cylinder head, and I changed out the 130 spring. So not everything, but oh yes, and one more thing. I changed out the gears to high torque gears, okay? This JG uh, M4 is the 2010 version. It already comes with the uh, a high torque motor and a tight bore barrel and it came with a 120 spring and steel gears I just didn't want to use those gears so I uh, put high torque gears in and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over there to my chrono we're gonna put some 25s in this thing and we're gonna chrono it now just as a preliminary test um, I had this in our back um, our back uh, supply closet and I was shooting at some boxes and uh, I actually from I don't know maybe 20 feet max you know and uh, we put three boxes inside of each other okay imagine a box inside of a box inside of a box and I shot it and it went clean through the whole thing out the back okay I thought that was pretty impressive uh, should have got that on camera, didn't. Okay, but let's go ahead and hit the chrono and let's see what we get. All right, now what I did was I loaded up my magazine with some 0.25 gram BBs. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it through there just to see what kind of uh, field FPS I will get when I use my 25s on the field. Here we go. Four twelve. Four thirty two. Four eleven. Four twelve. I'm sitting right at around four fifteen with twenty fives. That's pretty good. All right, now just to let you know, I have a 9.6 volt, 2,000 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery in here, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rate of fire test. I'm going to do it twice, and we're going to see what we get. Um, with a heavier spring, I'm sure the motor is now pulling uh, the gears slower, pulling it back. So I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get a lower rate of fire than I did with my M120 spring. But uh, let's see what we get. Seven thirty-four rounds per second. Seven thirty-four. Hmm, that's pretty consistent. Seven thirty-four rounds per second. Um, I noticed the FPS average on that was lower. Hmm, maybe one BB went really slow and threw off the average. I don't know. Let's try again. Four eighteen. That seems about right. All right. Well, that was for the M one thirty spring and the upgrades that I mentioned: the air nozzle, the cylinder, uh, not yeah, the cylinder head, and the hard bucking. That gave me and the uh, 
the high torque gears gave me the lower rate of fire but it was able to pull back the heavier spring now let's go ahead and shoot at distance and I want to see basically how far back I can go and still hit the target okay so that's the target I'm gonna be shooting at um, let's start at 100 feet all right now what I've done is I've moved my dish back about 50 feet into the woods. Uh, luckily, due to the fact that uh, we're losing a lot of leaves, I can see deeper into the woods and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at a target further away. Now, I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. You can kind of see how it's way in there. Okay, you got that target right there. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can see what's going on. All right, now we're at 100 feet right now, 25s. JG M4. Here we go. Oh, and just as an FYI, I have a mixture of white and black BBs. So some BBs that you see, there'll be white ones. You will not see the black ones flying through the air. They're ultimate sniper BBs. I mean, you know, if you were trying to be totally stealthful, you'd use your black BBs. Nobody would see them coming or where they're coming from. So I mix them. I, I use my white BBs as tracers. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm hitting. Okay, I can hit it at 100 feet. Let's back this up. Okay, at 150 feet, I am hitting with every burst. Shh, don't tell anybody. I switched to 28s. All right, now we're gonna move back to 200 feet. The ultimate test. All right, we're standing at 200 feet. I have 28s loaded. And we're going to go for that dish. I can't even get it centered. Okay, hold on. 28, 200 feet, Kentucky windage. Hit. 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 Miss. Over. Hit. 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 Next. Hit. So you see, pretty good. All right, guys. Um, here's something that I learned. Okay, uh, using .25s, I was hitting it 100 feet, no problem. But as soon as I moved back to 150 feet with my 25s. Um, the BBs were, they were, what they weren't, they weren't hopping up too high because my hop was set pretty good. They were flying left and right. They were flying and then I would see them right before they hit the target, they would veer off to one side or the other. And I just edited that out of the video. So what I did was I ran inside and grabbed me some 28s that I use and I put them in the gun uh, and I shot those and you, and you saw the results. I was hitting with every burst. Now, so I backed up to 200 feet. That's my first attempt at 200 feet. And I was shooting with this, not zeroed, hop, not really set, just in a hurry to get this video on in the market. And uh, 
I could hit with, uh, I would say, probably four out of five bursts, I was hitting my target at 200 feet. That's pretty dang good. Um, 200 feet's an awesome shot. So, with an M4. So, um, thanks for coming out and watching this uh, video of my upgrade. And uh, I was considering going to the M135 spring, but I think that's gonna put my FPS around 450. And if that happens, I would be too hot, so I wouldn't play like that. I have to admit, I am not a cheater, and I do not tolerate cheaters. So, hot guns, not what I'm shooting for. I'm just shooting for close to the limit. So 415, I'm cool with that. All right. So uh, thanks for coming out and checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe. And remember, guys, whenever you're out there on the airsoft field, play safe.